fellow patriots. I'm Lee Watts, and this is Patriot Point. So if anybody's clicked on this thinking you're like watching an episode of The View, you're on the wrong channel. This is Patriot Point. Here we talk about Kentucky news from a conservative, Christian, and constitutional point of view. Well, this week, I'm coming directly to you from the beautiful Kentucky State Capitol building. Uh, if you ever want to come up to the Capitol, I love to show Patriot groups around. So bring your Patriot group, uh, your church, your school, come up here. We'll see the building and introduce you to your senator and representative, let, letting them see Patriots being active and involved. If you'd like to do that, just send me an email. Tours are absolutely free. Well, we have some big issues going on here in the Capitol this week. The border battle is now raging here in Kentucky. Uh, this week, they have House Resolution number 47. And this would say that Kentucky is going to be standing with Governor Greg Abbott of Texas in securing the Texas southern border. Uh, now, what's amazing to me is we had some representatives get up and say there is no border crisis going on. For which brings me to Texas, which is part of the United States. Its border is the U.S. border, and that border is secured. We do not have any reason today to be talking about what the Biden administration should be doing. Legislation, anything that we're doing, it's not helping anything. It is unnecessary, and that border is secured. Please disperse. Nothing to see here, please. These liberals are absolutely detached from reality, this idea that there's no border crisis. So House Resolution number 47 saying we are standing with you. Governor Abbott did pass the Kentucky House, and we'll see what happens with it as it continues in the process. Now let's talk about a law that was up for a vote, and that is House Bill number 341. Now this bill says you actually have to be a citizen of the United States and of Kentucky in order to vote in our elections here. What a crazy idea. Now, what's amazing to me is that we had some of the liberals voting and speaking against this. I don't like to call names. Oh, who am I kidding? I love calling names. Uh, one particular was Representative Chad All. Uh, he stood up and said, quote, he wanted our uh, elections to be more inclusive, uh, meaning people who are not citizens allowed to vote in these things. Uh, it was a, a fiery debates going on about this, uh, but I'm happy to tell you at the end of the day, House Bill number 341 did pass. The House now goes on to the Kentucky State Senate. We'll be keeping an eye on this one and letting you know if uh, what happens to it. Uh, Andy Bashir would veto this. I have no doubt the legislature would override that veto if indeed it passes, and we'll be keeping our eyes on it. Uh, we have some other huge issues going on, and it's one that's not getting a lot of attention, and it's an issue called Certificate of Need. We have a law that was really a mandate that came down in the 1970s from the federal government saying we want to have like centralized hospitals and healthcare centers in every state. And the idea was, well, that'll really make prices go down because everything is centralized. Well, it had the opposite effect. Whenever you have a monopoly, what happens? Like when you play the game Monopoly, if you've got all of one thing, what happens? You're able all of a sudden to charge outrageous prices because you don't have anywhere else you can go. So we've got a lawmaker that's saying, I'm going to propose some bills that says we're going to reform this, try to get rid of it and allow private industry health care, such as hospitals or ambulance service or kidney treatment centers or drug rehab treatment centers are allowed to open up without getting the government's permission, having a monopoly for existing healthcare centers. Uh, so I had an opportunity to sit down with the lawmaker that's trying to get rid of this socialist system and allow the free market system to come into Kentucky healthcare. I sat down with her, here's the interview. Well, here we are today meeting with Representative Mary Ann Proctor. Uh, thank you for being on Patriot Point. Thank you for having me. Uh, let's start off by telling us what county of Kentuckians do you represent? I'm in the 60th district. It's mm -hmm. Boone County, the southern part of Boone. Uh, so first of all, explain to us all what does Certificate of Need mean? Certificate of Need is basically a government permission slip that 
a new entity that wants to come into Kentucky, a health organization, would need to obtain to be able to open. Okay, so you got to get permission from the government to open up your private business so Correct. that the other business doesn't have a monopoly on everything. Correct. All right. Uh, well, first of all, tell us uh, why is right now the best time to do this? I believe it's a constituent driven issue. When I was out campaigning, this is one of the top two issues that I heard. Certainly, COVID exposed the weaknesses in our healthcare systems. Mm -hmm. And with the rapid growth that we're experiencing in Northern Kentucky, we only have one hospital system. Oh. Boone County is now the fourth largest county in all of the Commonwealth. And we just don't really have the facilities to meet the, the growing demands in our aging population. Okay. So if these laws were to pass to remove or reform certificate of need, what would be some of the biggest benefits for Kentuckians? Certainly it would allow people choices in their healthcare options. It would lessen commutes of where they have to go. It would keep more of our payroll dollars here in Kentucky versus going across the river to Ohio, where many of my constituents go. Okay. It would make it more accessible. It would also allow people who are employed by the hospital to have opportunities for upper mobility within their jobs, to get promotions, to be able to get a higher wage if there's more competition. And it would draw in more healthcare workers when you have more than one healthcare system. So what is probably the biggest obstacle to giving the private industry the free market system. Uh, what's the biggest obstacle to making these laws happen? Well, there's probably two obstacles. One is I would say the average person doesn't know what certificate of need is. Okay. So if you ask them, do you want choices in healthcare? It's a resounding yes. The other obstacle certainly is from the industry pressures. The chamber is not in love with this, mm. nor are the hospital associations or the hospitals themselves that often pressure legislators to leave CON in place. All right. So, so those who are making money on this don't want any competition. All right. Correct. <laughs> okay. Um, so that was my interview with Representative Marianne Proctor talking about let's getting Kentucky out of this certificate of need and allowing the free enterprise system to decide if we're going to put a hospital somewhere and let the free market decide by having more hospitals, more healthcare centers is going to increase availability. It'll decrease the cost of things and increase quality competition and the free market system always works. Let's get Kentucky out of this certificate of need mess. If you would like to help, the most effective way is for you to contact your state representative asking them to co-sponsor House Bills 203 and 204. If you'd like to leave a message for your representative here at the Capitol, the phone number is 1-800-372-7181. Eight, one. Now, and we have people who are in what I call the swamp. You heard President Trump talk about that. These swamp people who are Republicans in name only. Rhinos, as we call them. Uh, if you don't know what a rhino is, there's a few pictures to show you what a rhino is. And then we have some true conservatives that are trying to do things that we as conservatives really want. Uh, so I'll encourage you. In fact, I want to do this for the next several weeks. I want to highlight some legislator or candidate who is a true conservative fighting against the swamp, and I'm gonna encourage you to donate to their campaign. Uh, nobody's asked me to do it, and I'm not asking you to send one red cent to me. I encourage you to send it to these different uh, people who are in office or seeking office who are true conservatives. This week, it's gonna be Representative Marianne Proctor. If you'd like to send her 10 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks, saying I'm willing to put my money where my mouth is to have true conservatives. I'll put a link for uh, her website, in the description of this video. And uh, I hope each week you'll set aside 10 or 20 bucks for whatever person we're talking about to be a true conservative that's gonna stand up for conservative issues here in the Commonwealth. Well, each week I like to say where I'm gonna be at this coming week. So this coming Sunday, I'm going to be at the Mount Zion Baptist Church in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, at 10 o'clock, I'll be teaching the Sunday School Hour, part of my America's Christian Heritage Series. And then we'll be preaching the gospel at 11 o'clock. Uh, so if you are anywhere near Lexington, the Mount Zion Baptist Church, we would love to have you there. I was supposed to preach there two weeks ago, but the snow made us reschedule. So that is what we have for this week. So until next week, Patriots, I'm Lee Watts for Patriot Point, reminding you that liberty is not a spectator sport. And that border is secured Disperse. Nothing to see here, please.